Behind me is a Rolls Royce you guys have never seen before because it hasn't been revealed to the public. I'm in a top secret location on the outskirts of London. This is the 2022 Rolls Royce Ghost Black Badge. First thing you guys are gonna notice is the overall darker theme of this car. That's because this is the black badge. And if you guys don't know what a black badge is, it's basically the traditional Rolls Royce's, you know, darker, sportier, cooler alter ego. Think of it like this, you know, Alex is the beautiful, elegant, classy Rolls Royce supercar blondie. I'm the black badge. <laughs> right, coming close. This right here is the darkest black in the car industry. There's actually 45 kilos of paint on this car right now. Look, look, let me turn, let me turn the camera around. You weigh about what, like 50 kilos? 50. Imagine, imagine Inca's entire body mass is more or less about the same amount of paint as we have on here. The super deep black acts kind of like a canvas and contrast to bring out the coach line. So take a look at the coach line. And for those of you that don't know, this is actually hand painted. There's someone, I don't know where they find these people, but there's someone that can actually literally just paint it in a straight line. Like if I, if I had to do that, it would look like, uh, you know when you go to the hospitals and you have your patients in the bed, they have the heartbeat uh, monitor, the beep, beep, beep. You know, if, if I were to paint this, it would look like uh, the patient's uh, very alive. All right, let's go forward. One of the first things that's gonna strike you is that you have a light up grill for the first time with the Ghost. So what's interesting is that obviously the outside is chrome plated, good, you know, gives a nice little reflection, but the back of it has been blasted to reduce the shine because it would become so bright that it would actually be a third light, which is actually illegal. So uh, they blasted the back and what happens is during the day, the grill, because it picks up the reflection from the surroundings, it looks black, but at night, you get this perfect balance of a light up grill. And this is my new favorite part of this car. I have a light up grill in my BMW and I always thought, wow, that's my absolute favorite feature at nighttime. Now you get it with the Ghost, looks absolutely incredible especially on the black. Over here, we got the spirit of ecstasy. If you guys thought that they just put a light layer of paint over this and made it black, no, no, you're wrong. They literally adjusted the chrome plating process, added new elements to literally darken the material. Take a look at how amazing the front just looks in general. Right, coming to the side. These are 21 inch rims. So the rims have 22 layers of carbon fiber and on the edges they actually fold back, which gives you 44 layers of carbon fiber. So there's a lot more going on here than initially meets the eye. I mean, in my first ever car, uh, I had about one layer of plastic, but I guess that wasn't a Rolls Royce. The moment you have all been waiting for, it's time to open the doors. Let's see what's inside. This looks amazing. Get in there. The first thing you're gonna see is obviously the amazing combination of darker colors. You have the starlight roof. I think with the starlight roof, what I would recommend Rolls Royce for next year is to have a little hidden camera, you know, like uh, on, on, the, on the roof, because every time that someone comes in and sees the starlight roof, the first thing that they do is just like, uh, you know, You gotta get like a, like a little little camera to get everyone's reaction, make a little bit of a, of a compilation of the reaction when they see it. Right, so because you have the black badge, you're gonna get the infinity symbol right there. The infinity logo represents the infinite possibilities. Obviously when you get this thing, this is a super, super modifiable car. You can change just about everything that you want in here. Let me just show you how amazing this interior is. All these different textures and on the passenger seat, you have the infinity logo with all the stars. Super, super cool. This right here, I thought was an electronic display. It's not. This is actually a piece of wood with a very thin sheet of veneer over it. And you have 850 individual stars illuminating in it. I mean, this thing, it's wood. It, <laughs> what? It's absolutely crazy because obviously the electronic screen would have been the easy way out, but this is Rolls Royce. All right, I wanna show you guys something really cool. First, we're gonna open this because you have, of course, 
your umbrella, Rolls Royce umbrella. Now, uh, you won't be using this in Dubai very much. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, maybe they could install like a little, little water fountain for hydration or something. I guess you can use this for the sun, your sun umbrella, something like that. Let's put this in here because the next coolest feature on the door, you have to see from the inside. So go around, go around to the side. All right, so to open it, uh, who wants to push a door when you can just pull the handle? Pull it once, it'll half open. Make sure that the coast is clear. You pull it again. How cool is that? That is awesome. And of course, to close it, you have your little button back here. See that? It says door right there. All you gotta do is press door. There you go. Easy as that. Over here, we have our little table. Get some work done. And your monitor. This is super cool. This is like, ugh. Right, so over here, you press this button. Oh yeah. So now you have like a mini center console in the back where you can adjust your music, your different options. You can control the car from the back. This is super, super cool. You can obviously adjust your seats. And let's see if we have it. There it is. The secret compartment for your champagne. That's sick. Let's hop outside because actually I'll go out this way. You saw me closing the door from the inside. If you want to do it from the outside, you actually have a sensor. You come over here, get your thumb out. All you got to do, put it on there for a few seconds. It'll close by itself. That is cool. That is absolutely amazing. I am going to put it on the road right now and test it out because this thing has almost 600 horsepower. We actually have a, we have a little airstrip right there. That's where we're going to take it. Let's see what happens. So. That's the one we just saw. We have one there waiting. All right, let's test it out. So basically, this is like an airstrip right now. Uh, it is in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we are in a, in a top secret location, literally. Uh, there's nothing else around here, and we're gonna push it a little bit. I'm doing 57 mile, 59 miles an hour already. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm, I'm doing 70. This is feeling really, uh, okay, wow. Oh man. Oh my goodness. This feels like it shouldn't be possible. I just have, wow. All right, so now we're somewhere in the outskirts of London. I have no idea where we are, but I've been driving on the other side of the road. Uh, yeah, it feels a bit unnatural, but this ride is silky smooth. Honestly, look, the second that I raise the window, it's absolutely dead silent. Can't hear anything. It's almost unsettling. It's bizarrely, bizarrely silent. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and bed. We're gonna wrap it up. What do you guys think? How sick is this car? Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to Supercar Blondie, or as the French say, Supercar Blondier. Subscribe, I'll see you guys next time.